Hello, in this lesson we're going to look at how to uh, create a new sprite, but it's a bit of a trick actually, I'm not really creating it, but this is what it'll look like to the user. So, with my enemy object, it starts moving when it's created, and it will go off the side of the screen like that. So what I'm going to do is set up an event and say, other intersect boundary, this is similar to what I did in the lesson where we bounced off the wall, but instead of bouncing off the wall, we're going to jump to a new location. And we're going to jump to x600, y300. Now x is this way, and y is from top to bottom. So, um, doing that, and now I'm going to run it, and you'll see what it looks like to the user. Okay, so it goes to the side, and then it jump. It looks like a new one comes in from the other side. But in actual fact, what it's doing is, as soon as it hits that boundary, it's jumping over there. So... I'm going to vary this and show you how this might be useful. So, that's actually a bit lower than I wanted. So, instead of going to, I'm going to make it at 200. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to have a couple of sprites in play. So, that's going to happen every time, sorry, not sprites. I'm going to have a couple of objects in play. So that when each of them hits the side, it comes back over here and starts again. So, this is where I go to my room. And instead of starting with, and I like to maximise my room, instead of starting, I'm going to have a second ghost. So there's my second ghost. So this way, I'm always going to have two ghosts in play. So let's have a look. There we go. So each time one goes off, it comes back. So that's one way of getting them to respawn. There are other ways I've tried with, but this has been the most successful. 